Sage. Hey. Oh, it's so great to see you again. We're doing lesson number five. So, um, today's lesson is called assemblage. Ooh. Yeah, very cool word. A nice 75 cent word. Nice. Um, so, my name is Holly Hussey, and I am the curriculum specialist for USDAN. How about you? My name is Sage Chasen, and I'm the lead fashion design and sewing instructor. 100%. I'm so excited about summer because hashtag summer starts now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just really just putting out all of our inspiration right now in these mini lessons to connect with our wonderful USDAN community. Okay. I'm even wearing my USDAN t shirt with Laurel that we already Googled. That's so. That's so many lessons ago that we Googled that. The, the victory read. <laughs> so today's assemblage lesson was inspired by a very interesting artist named Joseph Cornell. Mm. And, um, you know, if you want to, Sage, I know you picked some images for us today about Joseph and some of his work. So if you have a photo of Joseph Cornell, that would be amazing. There we go, now I found it. Thank you so much. There's Joseph Cornell. I'm really stunned you picked this picture because it's a picture that I love of Joseph Cornell. He was born December 24th, Christmas Eve, 1903. Yeah, and he was born in New York. He's an American artist, he's a filmmaker. And he is one of the pioneers and most celebrated parts of this art style we're doing today called assemblage. He was influenced by the Surrealists. And if you don't know about Surrealists, that's a great thing to look up. Um, and a thing I love about Joseph Cornell is he was largely self-taught mm. as an artist. He improvised his own original style with cast off and discarded artifacts. And here's something very interesting about him. Mm. Why don't you put up one of his boxes so we can see his art creations while I tell you a little, oh, I love this one. He made this particular box for the surrealist artist, Juan Gris. Um, and uh, something that I didn't quite understand fully until we started doing this project and it's so right now joseph cornell lived most of his life in relative physical isolation oh, so it's a lot like self-containment right yeah um he was caring for his mother and his disabled brother um, but he remained aware and in contact with contemporary artists from around the world so let's see another image by joseph cornell I love that this one is untitled and then it has a title. I know. <laughs> I'm like, what? Let's see another image. <laughs> and the paper parrot there is sitting on the stick. Yes. How cute is that? That's really smart. And there's an egg up above. So there's a lot of references. Yeah, a lot of bird references. Yes, I love that. This one's lovely. You can see that he probably went rif rifling through like antique stores and mm -hmm. getting any sort of painted with objects. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's come on back and we'll do the lesson. Thank you so much, Sage. Thanks for doing that work. That's so helpful and fun to show people. Visuals are great. What's that? Visuals are great. Visuals are great. And actually, it might be really cool to show a contemporary artist who's working now. And this might be like a little bit of an insider mm. situation, but the artist is my niece. Wow. And she's a niece. She's a niece. She's, <laughs> she is a niece. She's mine. She's an artist who's um, working in the Boston area Ooh. and she's an assemblage artist, very well known. Oh. And so she took a page from Cornell's playbook, but she's really made it her own. So people who make assemblage objects, they are gathering things. And that's one of your missions today is to go around the house. Okay. And that's what um, Cornell did. He would gather items and that's what my niece, Casey um, Appleman does, she gathers items. So it's like you're painting 
but with objects. I love that. Okay, so for today's lesson, I got a box. There's a lot of boxes coming lately. A lot of them have to stay outside, but um, some of them make their way inside because they're wrapped so well. So hunt around for a little box. It can be teeny, it can be big. Find a few magical items. And then with just a plain piece of paper, here's today's theme. Today's theme is one of, uh, not just assemblage, but the feeling of our assemblage is how does it feel to be self-contained or to be in the situ this situation? It's a very unique situation. And so your artistic goal today is just sort of think about how does that make me feel? And your box is going to reflect that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be a permanent thing. You can, you can make an artful design in a box. You can glue it later. You can make it solid mm -hmm. or you can make it temporary just to kind of look at or have a little art show at home. So I took a plain piece of paper and a Sharpie mm -hmm. and I wrote some things down how this moment is making me feel a bit mm -hmm. and I made a little time-lapse video of my process which you can share with everyone okay so what I did was I wrote down some things that this moment makes me feel so step number one everyone's gonna do that you're all gonna write down a few words on one piece of paper and I wrote down Call a friend. Yeah, this is making me feel like I want to call a friend at least once a day. I want to call someone and check in. This one's interesting, but since you know me a little better, you might really get it. Yes. Yeah, I feel a lot of positivity. You know, I just, I'm gonna I'm throwing the positivity to you. Catch it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. I'm feeling. Can you see it? High vibration. High vibration. I'm feeling high vibration. Um, I think what I mean by that is I feel positivity makes me feel higher vibration and feeling creative puts me in a great mood connecting mm -hmm. with friends. Here's something, I don't know about you, but here's something I have to consciously, consciously do. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody take a breath. <sighs> Wonderful. And I feel this. Mm -hmm. And I feel this for many people that I'm not able to be with right now. My students in particular, I took my piece of paper and I wrote down all my things and I tore the paper apart. Yes. You can cut it with scissors or you can tear it. Um, and when you show everyone the time lapse, they'll be able to see exactly how I did this. But it'll be fun kind of picking out your words. One of my magical items, Sage, is a little sculpture from Sculpey. <laughs> One of my students made me. That is so cute. Yeah. It moves. Aww. It got a little bit crushed in my in my book bag. I forgot he had given it to me. But check this out. I have to show you this. It's amazing. He makes these characters and the arms move, the feet move. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's incredible. Wow. So um, I'm going to have that in my box. Also, I live on the ocean and I love the ocean probably more than anything else. And you can probably hear I'm collecting from around my house my sea glass. Oh, love sea glass. I know. And my shells. Ooh. This shell is from Orkney. And Orkney is an I oh wait, I have to show you before I talk about Orkney. I also have found a lot of interesting pottery. Ooh. On the I beach. Love that. Yeah. And I've also found parts of animals like this is from a sea urchin. Oh, whoa. Isn't that pattern gorgeous? That really is. So I found my magical objects, and they include this particular shell type from Orkney. Orkney are the islands above Scotland, and oh. I visit there quite a bit. I've been there to see music festivals and art festivals, and I'm very interested in folk tales, and so that's why, and that's why I have those shells. So 
in my box today, um, I am going to assemble my sea glass. I'm just going to add it all like one at a time in there. Okay. And so this is real time. So you're sort of seeing me add it. So did you find some magical items today? So I actually took out my bag of just mixed strings and fabrics. Oh my gosh, bring that close up to the camera. I want to just stick my face in it. <laughs> that I mean, is fantastic. Feathers. So I love these because these kind of like represent all projects I've worked on in the past. So that's my main thing. And there's a lot of different mini objects in here. So that's wonderful. Now, what about Sage? If you were going to write down a few words mm. for your box, I think I'd definitely write down nature. Yes. That's one of the like big things right now that I'm appreciating so much. Um, what else? Family. Oops is important, family and friends. Um, there is a bit of confusion, right? And like uncertainty right now. Oh, yeah, let me write these down too. I'm writing yours. Thank you. And you wrote, you said confusion. Mm -hmm. That's honest, thank you. Mm -hmm. And creativity. Oh, that's a great one. So why don't you write down your words? I have your words written too. <laughs> Thank I, you. I am going to, I like tearing. I love tearing paper. Me too. I'm going to tear yours. I'm starting to add a few things into my box. So people can put toys in here. You know, this does not have to be a permanent thing. You can cut out pictures from magazines and paste them in the back of the box. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You can color. Um, the back of the box with your marker. There's so many ways to approach this. I went pretty, I went pretty simple with my final, but um, that's really the lesson today, Sage. It's a simple, it. it's inspired by Joseph Cornell. I think what I'll do is we'll leave this lesson here. Oh, I love how you're stringing the string from the top. I know, that just kind of stuck there. I'm what, gonna... that is so great. Yeah. That is a wonderful method. Um, I think what might be really helpful to do mm. is for you and I, let me see your face. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hey. I, I think what might be really wonderful mm. is, um, you work on your box and I'll finish mine, but I'm gonna do it in a little different way from my time lapse, which shows everyone at home exactly how to do it. Yes. Um, I think I might finish mine and add maybe something from a magazine, like switch it up a little. And I'll send you a photo of mine and you take a photo of yours and we'll just tag it right onto the end of this. Perfect. So people can see how the magic happens. Yes. I love that. Yeah, so that's today's lesson in assemblage, inspired by Joseph Cornell, mm -hmm. a wonderful artist. If you've never explored Joseph Cornell, I really look forward to lesson number five. Uh, the next one will be lesson number six. Yes. So this is the end of lesson five. I was so happy to have time with you today. Yes, me too. And to make some art today. 
because on our minds with our used and community summer starts now <laughs> i know i hear that in your voice it starts now anyway it was so wonderful to see you let's say goodbye for now all righty and i'll see you for lesson number six yes okay bye, bye. sage bye.